If you're looking to multi-stream in 2026, my number one recommendation is Atom Multi-Stream. It's a simple, straightforward plugin for OBS that just works and is completely free. If you want to stream to a vertical format like TikTok or YouTube Shorts, my number one recommendation is Atom Vertical. It's a simple, straightforward plugin for OBS that just adds an extra vertical canvas, and that too just works and is completely free. Atom just makes some of the best multi-streaming tools for streamers, and they've just released a third plugin, which adds a ton of useful features to OBS like built-in multi-chat, built-in multi-activity feed, a dock to change all of your stream titles all at once, and the ability to add not just one extra canvas, but infinite canvases to OBS. The plugin is called Atom Stream Suite, and I do not like it. Stop being cringe and paying full price for Windows with our sponsor, VIP SD Keys. You can get a Windows 11 license for as low as $21. Just use my code NUTTY at checkout to get them for 30% off. And if you want to get them for a little bit cheaper, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15, and those can be updated to Windows 11 completely for free. You can pay using a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you an activation code immediately, and then you can put that in your Windows settings, and you're good to go. Check out VIP SD Keys in the link down below. I have a lot to say about this plugin, but First, let me just explain what Atom Stream Suite even does. Atom Stream Suite is basically a competitor to something like SE Live. It's an all-in-one plugin that adds a ton of extra functionality to OBS, primarily aimed at people that A, multi-stream, and B, like to do a lot of tinkering with their stream layouts. You can either install this over the top of your existing OBS install, or you can install it with OBS along with the plugin. There's a lot to go through, so I'm just gonna go through all of the features, kind of like in a bullet point style. Number one, Atom Stream Suite comes with all your favorite OBS plugins already pre-installed. Move Transition, 3D Effect, Composite Blur, basically all the top OBS plugins that I've recommended on this channel, they come with Stream Suite, so you don't have to go and install them yourself. Most importantly, Atom Stream Suite comes with all of the functionality of Atom Multi-Stream and Atom Vertical already built in, so there's no need to install those plugins separately now. Atom Stream Suite just comes with everything. It adds a new first-time setup wizard when you first set up OBS, so instead of opening up OBS and everything just being blank, you can choose from three different presets. There's one for just chatting, one for gaming, and one for podcasting. Basically, when I spoke to Adam, they said that their vision is they want to take someone who hasn't even installed OBS before to go from installation to streaming in under five minutes. So they're trying to streamline the streaming process and make it accessible to as many people as possible. That's going to become important later on in the video, but we'll just we'll just park that thought for now. The plugin comes with a built-in multi-chat and multi-activity feed built right in. Right now, it only supports Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. The multi-chat is pretty basic. You do have the ability to send messages, but the moderation tools are pretty limited and it doesn't have custom emote support. The multi-activity feed is pretty nice though. It shows all of your Twitch subs, Kick follows, YouTube super chats, and each alert is color-coded so you know what platform each alert came from. There's also a dock that lets you change all of your stream info for all your different platforms from the same place. It works okay, it's pretty similar to the one that I built. Not to suck myself off, but I think my one's better. I don't like how much vertical space this dock uses. You also can't even see what the stream titles currently are. You just have to change it and then hope that it kind of just works. Also, none of these docks support multiple YouTube streams. If you stream on YouTube in vertical and horizontal layouts at the same time, it only shows one of your chants. And you don't even get to pick which one it shows. It just picks one of your streams and shows the chat messages from that stream, but doesn't even tell you which stream it is. It just, I don't know what's going on here. Stream Suite also comes with Atom Multi-Stream and Atom Vertical all built in. There's no need to install these two plugins separately now, all of the functionality of those two plugins are already built into Stream Suite, and they've even taken it a step further. Because now, instead of just adding a single vertical canvas to OBS, you can add as many canvases as you want. You know how Twitch has that stupid rule where you can't show multi-chat on screen, otherwise they'll cry and try to kill you? 
Well, with Stream Suite, you can create two separate canvases and then choose which canvas goes to which platform. So you can create one layout that has multi-chat for your YouTube audience and then another layout that only contains your Twitch chat for your Twitch audience. In fact, Atom went the extra mile and they even added a feature called clone canvases. Basically, if all you want to do is change one source, like say your chat overlay, but you wanna keep everything else about your scene layouts exactly the same between Twitch and YouTube, you don't have to build two completely different scene layouts. You can just create one layout, then add a clone canvas. And then here you can choose which source you wanna swap out. So that way you don't have to manage two sets of scenes and two sets of sources. You can create just one canvas, but then you can tell Stream Suite which source you want to be different between your Twitch and your YouTube streams. You do need Stream Suite for this functionality though. You won't get it with just Atom Multistream or just Atom Vertical alone. If you want the ability to add infinite canvases, you need Atom Stream Suite. Also keep in mind each extra canvas does increase CPU and GPU usage because OBS now has to render and encode two entirely different canvases. But the functionality is there if you're like, you're like an enthusiast streamer that has a computer that can handle all that. But the biggest feature, and this is probably the most controversial feature, Stream Suite adds a new tab to view. So you know how sometimes when you wanna focus on just tinkering with your OBS scenes and you don't want, you don't need your chat window and all your activity feeds open. Well, Stream Suite adds a tabbed view where you can swap back and forth between two totally different dock layouts. So you can have a layout that's dedicated to just streaming with your multi-chat, your multi-activity feed all open. But then when you want to tinker and build with your OBS, you can switch to another tab that has a completely different doc layout. They even added some extra docs like a context aware doc that shows the properties of whatever source that you have selected and a live scenes doc which lets you show only the scenes that you're going to use during your stream and none of like your nested scenes. So you, if you're like an advanced streamer that has like a hundred scenes in OBS but like 80 of them are just like nested scenes you could hide all of those ones and just have a cut down list of only the ones that you'll be using while you're streaming. This is a really cool concept in theory. However, my problem with this is there are way too many goddamn docs with this plugin. And what's worse is none of these doc layouts actually stick to a consistent size. For example, if you minimize OBS and then maximize it again, your vertical canvas gets super tiny and then you have to like resize everything and it's super annoying. If you've ever used the JR Docky plugin for OBS, it's basically that, except with JR Docky, you can at least reload your dock layouts if everything gets out of whack and it only takes two clicks to fix that. You can also save as many dock layouts as you want. With Atom Stream Suite, you just have your live tab and your build tab and that's all you get and you can't even rename them. And keep in mind, this is just the default install. If you have more than two canvases, good luck trying to fit everything on screen. You're gonna need like an 8K monitor just to fit all your docs onto one page. It's, it's ridiculous. Not to mention, Stream Suite also changes your OBS theme on install. And this theme makes all the labels for the docs appear bigger so you can fit even less information on screen. This is my biggest frustration with Stream Suite. I think it just does way too much. I'm really just not a fan of these all-in-one type plugins. I said the same thing about SE Live because there are some things I really, really like about Stream Suite. I like the multi-streaming aspect. The ability to add infinite canvases to OBS is awesome. Some people are really gonna like the multi-chat doc and the multi-activity docs as well. But a lot of you are probably gonna find that tabbed view really clunky. You're probably not gonna appreciate that it forces this new theme on you that you have to manually disable yourself. Like if you only care about one feature, too bad. You gotta install the whole thing. It's really hard for me to make this video because I could just tell how hard the team at ATIM has worked on this plugin. I just don't really understand who Stream Suite is for. On the one hand, 
They say their goal is to make streaming easier and more accessible. But then at the same time, they've added a bunch of these advanced features like a separate live and build tab for people that want to tinker with their OBS setups. So who's this for? Is it for the beginner streamer who doesn't care and just wants to play games with their friends on stream? Or is it for the enthusiast whose idea of relaxing on the weekend is to perfect their OBS scenes for like the 14th time this month? Because I feel like they're kind of just sitting on the fence trying to satisfy both sets of users, but in the end they end up making a product that doesn't really satisfy either of them. You kind of need to pick a lane. Personally, I say fuck the normies. If you're a normie, go use meld if that's if you want something simple and easy to use. I think ATIM really needs to consider splitting up Stream Suite into two, maybe even three separate plugins. If you can't tell me what your plugin does in one or two sentences, I'm already checked out, okay? It's already too much work for me. You ought to narrow the scope of your plugin so that people can understand what the plugin even does. And don't force like 30 features on us that we may or may not even want. And don't just do that thing during the installation process where you select which features you want. I don't like that. I hate when programs make you do that on install. Really think about breaking down Stream Suite into smaller separate plugins with much clearer functionality. Maybe Atom Multistream can just include the multi-streaming aspect. Get rid of Atom Vertical. We don't need two separate plugins. Build that into Atom Multistream and include the multi-chat and the multi-activity feed while you're at it. Then you can rename Atom Stream Suite into something like Atom Designer that just focuses on that tabbed view. I really like the concept of having tabs inside of OBS, but I really don't like how it's implemented right now. I would much prefer if it was like a separate plugin from the rest of Stream Suite. And then if you really insist on having something for the normie streamers, make your own flavor of OBS and call it Atom Studio that has everything pre-installed with all the pre-made scene collections and all the OBS plugins. For now, I'm just gonna keep using Atom Multistream and Atom Vertical. Stream Suite is just not in a usable state, at least for me. I think there's a lot of work that still needs to be done before I can recommend this to most people. Come watch me on Twitch. I'm building a new PC, like now. I got like, I got RAM. This shit is like a thousand dollars. Jesus Christ. Uh, you can come ask me any question about Stream Suite as well and join the Discord. It's like a deserted island right now. So uh, just come and talk about anything. You know, just post like your Spotify rant. I don't care. Just talk about anything in there.